Hey, everybody, Justin Wu Lee coming in. So all efforts to contain the Ebola virus in Africa have failed, and one of the workers has contracted the virus working with the victims down there. Now the infected worker is being brought here to the U.S., and for the first time ever, Ebola will be shipped in to the U.S. Check this out. There's nothing in particular that's that's going to be new or, or, or really different that they're going to get in the United States versus where they are. Uh, if there were specific things that they needed, it could have been flown there. Absolutely. You know, fly the equipment they need over there and treat this individual there. To bring them here is just ridiculous. This was purely because they wanted to bring these patients home to the United States. Is that right? Is that is that what drove this? Um, you'd really have to ask them. It was their decision. But uh, we are here to support the decision and to, to remember that I, I know that it creates a fear in people, but I really hope that people's fear won't outweigh their compassion. We've got a real challenge in West Africa, and what we have to focus on is stopping the outbreak there. We will be able to stop it, but it's going to take supporting people, and that means that if people who are working on that response get sick, we care for them. Yeah, care for them there. Our problem, Doc, is the fact that all your protocol measures have failed there. So why are you going to bring the virus here? It's just asking for trouble, and maybe that's what they want. <laughs> They've been wanting an excuse for martial law for some time now. What better way to do a little gun confiscation under the guise of quarantine? Oh, yeah. You know, one of the things, Dr. Frieden, that comes up, and you've been transparent about, is the lapses at the CDC recently, and there are lapses in hospitals as well with regard to infectious disease protocol from time to time. Oh, yeah. You're just bringing it amidst our miserable failures to contain lesser problematic viruses. Yeah, just bring in the one that kills 90% of people that contract it while we're uh, busy dropping the ball left and right. Apparently admitted by Mr. Yeah, let's fly in the Ebola virus to the U.S. That sounds great, doesn't it? Even in very good hospitals, as you know. Even the good ones are fucking up. There's a human element to this. So even with the with the best sort of intentions, Dr. Frieden, what kind of assurances can you say for sure that, you know, with, with regard to the, this patient or these patients, that there won't be other infections, that these patients won't somehow infect a healthcare worker or somebody else within the hospital? are now reaching out to the Federal Homeland Security Director for answers she says the president isn't giving. And to Texas now, where we're learning exclusively about a new health threat Coming from illegal border crossers, the Border Patrol now worried about a virus outbreak. And ABC 15's Sabita Fergani is taking action to get that story in Texas. They're seeing crossers with contagious infections, and sources tell me right now, all that's separating the sick from the healthy, this caution tape, and agents tell me that's not enough. 